Silent Hill 2 is a game cemented in video game history as one of the greats when it comes to horror. And one of the characters in Silent Hill 2 is Pyramid Head, a silent being that has a metal pyramid as well, a head. Fans loved him, but Konami saw that as an opportunity for fan service, and so they showed off Pyramid Head in every game in the series after Silent Hill 2. My name is Sky, and today I'll show you just how Konami ruined the story of Silent Hill with one character. Jesus Christ! When building the base story of Silent Hill 2, the developers realised they needed a chaser creature to fill a role in the plot. Each monster in Silent Hill 2 is meant to be a manifestation of the player's mind, representing a certain symbolic meaning that applied to James Sunderland, the main character of Silent Hill 2. Masahiro Ito was the man behind the basic design of Pyramid Head, and he wanted to make him look as inhuman as possible, to create a disturbing feeling. The head was made to hide the face and create the effect, but Ito ultimately scrapped the design as it looked too much like a human in a mask. The final design had the pyramid helmet clamped onto the head, with the creature also wearing a butcher's apron. Ito took inspiration from the lower hull of the King Tiger German World War II tank when designing the edges of the pyramid helmet. There were a total of six weeks that Pyramid Head's finalised design was worked on, with rigging, modelling and texturing, and so Pyramid Head was ready to show up in Silent Hill 2 to scare the shit out of little children playing at 2am with the volume turned down, hoping not to wake up their parents. And oh boy, were they in for a fucking shock. Your boy Pyramid Head was originally a manifestation of James Sunderland's guilt and desire for punishment. They appear multiple times throughout Silent Hill 2 and exist to keep Jason human and help him remember his past actions. Once James killed Eddie later on in the game, a second hit Pyramid Head appears. This will be important later. At the end of Silent Hill 2, both Pyramid Heads kill themselves as they have fulfilled their purpose. The only important game Pyramid Head appears in afterwards is Silent Hill Homecoming, renamed as the Boogeyman. They appear roughly four times throughout the game physically, and then we come to the movies. There have been two movies containing Pyramid Head, both reimagining them as the Red Pyramid, but this one is much more aggressive than the others. Pyramid Head also has many cameos in different pieces of Silent Hill content, such as literature or small parts in spin-offs, and the fans absolutely love Pyramid Head, which is why Pyramid Head has been absolutely destroyed by Namco. Since the original appearance of Pyramid Head in Silent Hill 2, fans fell in love with him. Every time an appearance of the masked monster is made, love for him only continues to grow. So of course, Namco decided to milk the shit out of Pyramid Head, putting him in literally everything they can, just because they know it'll sell. And for some reason everyone just laps it up and continues to tell Namco they want more. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, except that I feel Pyramid Head eventually reaches a point just like every piece of media where it becomes a joke. Take notes, studios. Don't just do the same thing over and over again. Looking at you, literally every AAA studio with a long-running franchise. So sure, maybe it makes the fans happy, but at what cost? Well, at the cost of the lore literally being destroyed, of course. In the original Silent Hill 2, Pyramid Head was a manifestation of James Sunderland's guilt and desire for punishment, as with all creatures in Silent Hill 2. At the end of the game, when James accepts his fate, all the creatures disappear, so why the fuck would creatures from James' mind appear in completely different games with completely different characters? That's right, they wouldn't. And yet, in an attempt to get as much money as possible, Namco put Pyramid Head everywhere, completely ruining the original meaning Masahiro I Ito 
I think that's how you say that name, the creator of Pyramid Head, had wanted. So good job, Namco. You completely ruined the story of Silent Hill with one character. Now I know I'll get comments saying, but Sky, the other Pyramid Heads are renamed, so they're obviously, they're different characters. And to that I say, shut the fuck up, no one cares, it's obviously a marketing ploy to get people to buy the game. Because James only appears as a real character in Silent Hill 2, any creature from Silent Hill 2 should not show up in any subsequent media, as that ruins the story of Silent Hill 2 where James Sunderland is using the creatures as a sort of coping mechanism, helping him get over killing his dead partner. Eventually, it just seems like the Namco employees are a bunch of dumb fucks who only want money, and the only sane person is Masahiro Ito, who actually left the projects of Silent Hill when finding out that they wanted to add Pyramid Head again. Let me repeat, Masahiro fucking told them it would ruin the character, and they did it anyway. That just shows how batshit crazy and power hungry the people that make these games are. They don't care about the fans, they care about the money. Well gamers, before we continue, I'd like to ask you all to subscribe, as it really helps out the channel and makes me less depressed. Anyways, back to the video. After Silent Hills was scrapped and the last game of the series became a slot machine, I doubt we'll see Pyramid Head in much more Silent Hill IP, but we have seen a big appearance in the game Dead by Daylight, as a fan favourite character in the game. I hope that if we ever do get another Silent Hill game, the devs will have learnt from their mistakes and create a game that makes sense in the plot of the main Silent Hill series. I feel as though not many people realise the truth behind Pyramid Head, but I'm putting this video out here to show just how fundamentally broken the story around him is. And with that, I think that's going to be the end of this history lesson in gaming. Well gamers, it's been fun, but I think I'm going to go work on getting Ophelia on Twitch. Yes, that's right, I'm doing a shameless plug of my Twitch, because fuck you. Also, remember to subscribe, because if you've made it this far into the video, you might as well wait for the next one, or even watch the other videos in my series, The Catastrophic Show. Anyways, I've talked long enough, so yeah, I'll see you all next time for another epic gamer video.